Hello, this is Steve from the Fluorescent Flying Penguins. Today, I'm going to be talking about the sound block. If you don't know what the sound block does, it allows you to play different sounds on the brick. One of the features is the place file. So what that does, it allows you to play sound files. So let's say I wanted to play a sound file, okay? So what you have to do is you have to pick from all these files, animals, colors, communications, expressions, information, mechanical, movements, numbers, and systems. In each of these files, there's a whole set of sounds. So let's say I want to play 8. So all you have to do is click on 8, and then when you run the program, it'll play 8. If I want to use the wired function to play 8, which, which means using the wire to put in the file, and what you have to do is you have to click on 8, you have to click away. If you click back, as you can see, 8 in the project sounds. So if I click on wired and then plug it in, so I've plugged it in to the sound, then I can type in here that sound. So if I type in 8, if I download and run, As you could hear, it played 8 because it was in the project sounds. But let's say you want to play something else, like 5. So if I type in 5 here, and then I download and run, as you could hear, it didn't play 5 because 5 wasn't in the project sounds. Another feature of the sound block is the notes. So what the notes does is it allows you to play notes like on the piano. So all the notes have their own numbers. So each different number means um, it means which octave it is. So what this program does is it plays the notes from C5 to C6. So if I download and run, As you could hear, it played the notes. Also, one of the features is it allows you to decide how many seconds you want it to take. So I had it at 1, but you can change it to 0.1 or whatever you want. Also, you can decide how loud the volume is and what type. So what the type does is it allows you to, so 0 means wait for completion, which means wait for it to complete the sound. Number 1 is play it one time. Number 2 is repeat it. Okay, there's one more feature left. It's called the frequency. What the frequency does is it allows you to put in a frequency. Or you can just click which notes you want, and it also shows you what frequency they are. But if you can put in frequencies other than what the notes are. So let's say if I type in 225, and then download and run. As you can hear, it played that um, frequency over and over. So, if I plug this wire in, what this program does is it plays the frequency f from 400 to 1,200. Here, let me show you. Thank you for watching this episode of Programming with UV3. Thank you and goodbye.